In this video we're going to review the find and select option here. So we click on this and it brings up the uh, selections I have available here. Now if you notice in the background in my buff three parts, I've actually got buff bottom one, two, three times here. right? And it's green. Green means it's value added here. So let's say the client comes to you and says, well, I really need this, but I'm asking you to do extra. right? So what we're going to do is we're going to change it and we're going to say find everywhere where we have the current text buff bottom. So you're going. it's going to be these three items in the background here. We want to replace that text, buff bottom, and I'll just say per client. So that's a request that they're making. Now currently we have it set for value added, but we also want to change that to be required and non-value added. We're going to change our text here, right? So we can either do a find if we're just looking for something. But what I'm going to take here is a replace all. So I just click on that. Now watch the buff bottom in the background here. So you'll see two things happen. It changed the description and also changed the color. The color being represented now is the required non-value added option. Okay, we say we're done. That's all we want to do. Uh, the other thing, you can just find a particular item. That's obviously quite easy. So you come in here and let's say we're looking for the word screws. So we just look for screws and we say find next and it'll highlight the option that... that um, with the first occurrence it finds of that particular text, hit it again and it moves again. Right, you see the two different options there. Uh, find next, it's just going to jump back and forth between these. So you can repeat that here. So again, the, the find and select can also be used to change the characteristics of the, uh, the properties of the tasks that you see on the screen.